Hello, I wanted to talk today about Chaturanga because we were talking about it in the Anatomy Lab. And I just wanted to say a few things about Chaturanga. So, you know, in a lot of yoga classes, the, the, um, the way you learn to do Chaturanga is by doing Chaturanga. And that's a kind of a crazy way to think about learning a movement, right? Like, you don't learn to do a flip by doing a flip. Or if you are going to learn to do a flip by doing a flip, you have to learn it with a trampoline or a big mat or, you know, a lot of other things so that you can build up the muscle memory in a safe way. So we go straight to Chaturanga um, and we're, we're trying to build our strength just by doing it over and over again. And what happens is if you have a, a weakness, you know, and you're just training with that particular weakness, you can develop injuries right? And Chaturanga is a kind of place where you know, there's no bad movement. And if you needed to, if you needed to catch yourself from falling and you did something like this, probably, maybe, hopefully it would be fine. But doing that 50 times in a practice is going to start putting pressure on parts of your shoulders that you probably uh, don't want to put that much pressure on. So what are some options to train for Chaturanga without just repeating it? Well, if you think of like a staircase model, and you think of like super advanced poses being higher up the staircase. And so maybe Chaturanga is three quarters of the way up. And above it is, you know, some kind of arm balance or you know, I forget that one. Anyway, uh, locust, is it when your feet are up? Anyway, um, and then lower down would be some of the krama, some of the seed poses. And, you know, often people say, OK, you can put your knees down. But knees down is a slightly different angle. So there are a few other diff ways to train in Chaturanga that are um, directly related but have less load than Chaturanga would be. And so that's what this video is about. So one option is to do Chaturanga on the wall. And you just stand straight. You take your arms a little bit lower than your shoulders. And then you have Chaturanga. Of course, you can make this a little bit more challenging by stepping further away hands can be a little bit lower in that case and you can start playing with pushing the wall away to train up for chaturanga and then you can use a similar approach with a chair so i just move my knees a little bit away from the chair and i can play with taking weight on and off the chair and you know at the beginning it doesn't feel like much but it is effort and I am using my body weight and I will whew, get tired after a few rounds. One of the things that's important to know about in Chaturanga, we're often told to pinch the elbows, squeeze the elbows into the side, but the bone rhythm of the arms in Chaturanga is uh, really interesting. So when your arm is straight out, and you bend it, the direction that the arm, upper arm bone rolls is that way, right? And then as you come up, the upper arm rolls up and forward. So the inner arm rotates down and back. And then as you straighten the arm, the upper arm rotates forward. So there's a spiraling of the bone. It's not that I am taking my arm and rotating it in, right? It's that this is the direction the bone goes. And when I practice this before I do Chaturanga, first of all, it means that when I come into Chaturanga, first of all, it means that my shoulder feels better in general. Second of all, rather than feeling like I'm pinching in, yeah, I just feel like my elbows are going straight back. Yeah, and that straight back kind of helps the chest stay open. So let's do the other side. So as you bend the arm, the inner arm rotates down and then as you straighten the arm, the inner arm rotates up. And I'm gonna do about five times. Sometimes even one time makes a difference. There we go. And I put my arm down, and wow, my shoulder feels so much better. Yeah, and then if I go into Chaturanga, I'm gonna do it on the chair. I'm gonna go into Chaturanga. Arm bones naturally do what they need to do and feels so much better. 